Hey guys, how's it going? Techie here. Um, so this is going to be my first tutorial, and this is basically what it's going to be. Uh, 2D motion tracking in uh, After Effects. I'm an After Effects only editor, and so all the tutorials that I will be doing will only be in After Effects. And uh, so yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today. Just that uh, 2D text in open space looks pretty nice so uh... open up after effects put your uh... cinematic in there and you're gonna need a plug-in for this it's called camera tracker 1.0 uh... i'll put a link into the er, uh... just go on youtube and type in camera tracker 1.0 free download and you'll be able to find it trust me it's like the first video but uh... okay so you want to start by dragging that onto your clip and then as you can see the uh, control panel pops up over here it says motion tracker uh... where it says track features click that and okay well i'm going to put full resolution make sure it's on full so that you get uh... all the colors and everything if it's on if it's on like quarter, as you can see, it gets blurry and all the colors don't mesh correctly, so it won't get a good track on it. So put it on full, uh, click track track features, and then just wait for it. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna go forward and backwards for the best tracking possible. So uh, I will come back to you when it's done. Alright guys, I'm back and it is done tracking. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is that uh, you can't like click on any other web browser while it's doing it. Um, you have to wait for it to track all the way through and track all the way back. If you do, you can't click back on After Effects. You can still do other stuff, you just can't click back on After Effects. Because if you click back on After Effects, it'll ruin the tracking. So just don't do that. Sorry I didn't tell you before. But, uh, yeah. Um, okay, now what you want to do is where it says solve camera, click solve camera. And wait for it, it shouldn't take that long. <clears throat> okay. Come on. There we go. Okay, now uh, just go through it. Look, make sure think everything's okay. Everything's tracked. Yep, everything looks pretty good. Alrighty then. Um, now what you want to do is click create scene, and that'll take a couple seconds. It basically just gives you a camera and a null object, and that null object is where your text is going to be and you can change that, I'll show you in a second Okay. now what you want to do is find one of these X's where you would like the text to be so let's move up a little bit, let's have the text be in front of this box yeah, yeah. okay let's see just click on this click on one of the X's right and then hold control and click on it again go to ground plane set origin just wait for that and that'll make the null object in that area instead so now what you want to do is create a new text text yeah and I'm just gonna drag that over here I guess you can keep it there uh, make it whatever size you want bigger smaller faster stronger alright now uh... what you're gonna want to do is pick whip the uh... text layer to your camera tracker no object no object and uh... that'll make it so it's uh, hold on what is going on here oh sorry 
make it a 3D layer, I forgot, uh, on your text layer, click this box, see how there's a circle with a dark side and a light side, click the box next to it, down in here, and uh, that'll put it in a 3D space, which makes it so that you can go forward and backwards, up and down, um, I'm just going to raise it up a little bit, put it right there, and your text will be still and it won't move anywhere that's awesome huh yep uh... i prefer this more than 3d text only because whenever i do 3d text it seems to mess up for me i don't know why i think it's my cinema 4d is kind of retarded like i follow the tutorials perfectly and everything but uh... 2d text i just think it looks better too and then you can do certain things to it like uh... just add some color correction i'm just gonna do something simple Go to layer, uh, layer, new, adjustment layer, let's find curves, put some color curves on there, make it a little bit darker, okay, add some blue. Right about there, that looks kind of good. Alrighty then. <clears throat> it's not the best color correction. I usually use magic bullet looks, but uh, it's the best I'm going to do for right now. Uh, then, other things that you can do is you can add a glow to the text, which is what I do, because it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Just add a glow to it. Um, see, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. You can... Uh, raise the intensity to whatever you want but I like to keep it at around one just looks good um, the radius I don't know just mess around with that and uh, yeah and then if you just want to I don't, I don't know, some people do this, they take it and, uh, uh, whoops, they'll make like the first letter a different color, you just come over here, make it like red or something, and that's how you change the colors of it, um, wait for my next tutorial, because as, as you saw in the, uh, in the uh, what's it called example that I show you right here it uh, looks like the presents is behind the wall let me find the spot as you can see presents is behind the wall uh, that is a masking tutorial I'll do that in a little while but uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, 2D uh, 2D motion tracking in 3D space is actually really simple. It's effective. It looks good. It's not crappy, you know. Um, you, you can add a bunch of different things. I add a glow to it. You can probably add... I think you could even add Twitch to it. Let me try that. I've never done that before. But yeah, you can add some Twitch to it. And let's see how that works out. Amount, enable, slide, and I think it's light, right? Yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. You can add some twitch to it. Um, I just kind of, I don't know, I've never used twitch with it before, so it's kind of cool. Uh, you could change the controls here for slide, put some RGB split in here, uh, put that like 25, about, yeah, about 25, just gives it that cool, like, a uh, rainbow-ish kind of look, with the red, green, blue, RGB split, I don't know, it's just an idea, um, so yeah, 
Uh, if there's any tutorials you guys would like me to do, please leave a comment in the uh, comments below, and I'll be sure to look at those and do some more tutorials for you guys. Uh, if you guys see a video with a, an effect in it and you want me to do a tutorial on it, just send me the clip, tell me what the uh, effect is, where, like what point in the video it's at, I'll watch it and I'll try to find either find a tutorial on it and then try to like reenact the tutorial with my own twist or uh, I'll figure it out myself. Um, if there's any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Uh, I'll be glad to help you with that. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's me wrapping up my first tutorial, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.